right, so last time we started with these three figures. All right, and what really, uh, I mean, some things we figured out were that uh, apparently this looks orange to some people, uh, this is red and this is blue, right? But some more pertinent uh, to the questions we wound up asking were uh, like eight more squares are added every time. We all agreed to that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in fact, I want you to take a look at this. So yeah, I have those same figures here, right? But uh, another observation we had was that some, like they nested inside of each other. Yeah. They fit inside each other. So figure one fit underneath figure two, and figure two fit underneath figure three, which I would assume that that pattern would continue, and figure three would fit under figure four, four to five, five to six, and so on. Okay. So if I take figure number one, I'm just gonna slide it up here. <coughs> On top of figure number two, what do you notice? It's eight. eight. Where do you see the eight? Uh, down below in the red. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, okay, now I'm gonna take figure two. I'm just gonna leave figure that figure one there. I'm gonna figure two up on top of figure three. What do you see there? Eight. Eight. Now I'm gonna take figure three. Stack it on top of figure four. Eight, eight. Those same eight, take figure four. Top of figure five. Okay. There's eight. All right? And that eight. pattern. Yeah. So you see what I'm showing you? I'm just showing you what you already noticed, but we can see it. Like we can see where the eight blocks could be added to get to the next figure. Right? Just a just a picture of the pattern that you notice. You notice that the number goes up by eight, and, uh, and that way we can see where we might think of it, like think of the eight being added on, all right? So, someone explain to me how, like what was their process for getting from figure three's 20 squares to figure 15, or sorry, figure five's 36 squares. Someone explain to me how they figured that out. Zach? Well, I did eight times five, and then subtracted by four. That's what you did the very first time? No. Okay, the very first time, what did you do to figure out that there are 36 blocks in figure five when you knew there are 20 in figure three? Well, I figured out that it goes, by, it goes up by eight every time. Okay. And then I did eight times five. And then I figured out that you have to subtract by four. I really doubt it, because I came around and looked at everybody's work. I didn't see you that until we were going to 73. What did you do this time? That's what I did. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay, somebody else's approach. Jaycee? I, I added eight blanks. Okay, so you added eight plus eight. That got you to where? Four. So you're four. And you added eight again, and you got? You got figure five. Uh, do we have to add eight, find out the answer, and then add eight again? What could we do instead? Uh, add 16. Add 16. We can make the one jump all at once by adding both eights at one time. Add 16. Okay. Uh, might that be useful? Can we continue to do that for any figure down the line? Yeah. Yeah, okay. To figure out, like, what do we have to know to figure out that we have to add 16 in order to get to figure five to figure three. Like how do we know it's 16? Because eight plus eight is 16. Okay, so how do you know it's eight plus eight and not eight, or eight plus eight plus eight? Or? Because we're going from figure three to figure five. Okay. So figure three to figure five we know is two figures down the line. So we need to follow our, our steady pattern twice. So we do it twice all at once by adding 16, right? and now we have kind of a fast, efficient way. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Like what if I wanted to get from figure three to figure, uh, figure three to figure seven? Then you would add it four times. You would add eight times three. Yeah. Eight times four. So we have, from here to seven is one, two, three, Four. Four eights, right? Four eights is 24. Right? Four eights. 
Isn't it? No. Yeah. Green eights is twenty-four. Right? Oh, four eights is thirty-two. Thirty-two. I was thinking of four sixes. Four eights is thirty-two. Thirty-two. So how many squares are in figure seven? Fifty-two, because three has how many? Um, one. Three has um, twenty. Twenty plus thirty-two. Fifty-two. Yeah. Okay. Good job, Alex. Good job. It's all started. We kind of all the work we did yesterday. Is it all kind of coming together? Yeah. Yeah. We can jump from one figure to any other figure we want. Okay. We can start at one. If we know how many squares are in that one, we can jump ahead. However many figures it takes. Okay. So let's jump from figure three to figure seven. Oh, that was figure three to figure seventy-three. Well, then we'd have to go eight times seventy. Yeah. Why is that? Because it goes by eight, and you're already at three, so you just got to go up seventy to make it seventy-three. Not three. You got to go up seventy more down the line, right? That's seventy five, steps six, up eight. Two. 70 steps of 8, 560, you say? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Exactly where it says it. Plus 560. Uh, how many squares are in figure 3? 20. Okay, 20 plus 560 is? 580. Okay, do we feel like that settles the, the debate yes. over 580 and 584? Yeah. Yeah. What are you confused about? I don't know, just like this whole thing. Did you watch the video from the room? Did you come in before school to ask what happened? No. Can we come in then? Okay, so 580, does that change anybody's mind? Is not 584? Yeah. So what? Like how do we get 584? How could we get 584 and why does it make sense? I did 73 times 4 because it goes figure four and then half of it would always be adding four for half and then I multiplied the answer of that would be 292 by two and got 584. Ooh. Let me let me ask this question. Who who took 73, right? The figure that we're trying to find, and multiplied it by eight because, well, it steps up by eight every time. Yeah. Do that first? Yeah, it's like subtract four and figure out. Why subtract four? I mean, it, it, the, our answer can't be because I know it's supposed to be 580 and I got 584, so you have to subtract four. That's not enough. Zach? Because the first figure only has four. Okay, so you think that it's because this figure has four in it? Yeah. So you have to subtract four from your answer? Yeah, because it. Uh, get to eight. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So like, I don't know if this has anything to do with it, but like in figure two, it's like missing four blocks in the bottom. Okay. So like maybe you have to. Oh wait, no. Okay, maybe that's why you have to subtract four. Avery, why do you have to subtract four? You think? Um, because like that's the one that you already started on. When you started on had four blocks to start with, like Zach said. Mm -hmm. Okay, Zach, you have. Oh, you're multiplying by eight. Okay. And the first one's not eight, so you subtract it by four to get the exact answer. Four, but still because of there's four in this first figure. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So uh, because the top top ones are four, and then the ones underneath it are eight. Okay. Well, yeah, but I mean, you're adding eight every time from the two. I think so you're all, you're, you've all four. essentially said the same thing and you don't realize it. You're essentially saying because I see four, <coughs> right? which is the same as the four that are there. We saw that from the from yeah. four when I stacked them on top of each other, right? Okay. Dalton? Um, because if you do the opposite and you subtract eight every time, you can't subtract eight from four. You can, but you get a negative you try to go. You're saying you should try to go backwards? Yeah. I want to, well, I just want to draw your attention to this 73, okay? And if I were to just take 73 times 8, would that take me from, like, just
just jump all the way to figure 73? No, I think it is. Well, I divided it by two for some reason. And when I divided it by two, I got um, 72.5. Uh -huh. So when I did four, or hold on, when I did eight uh, divided by two, eight, Somebody has something else to say? Okay. I mean, let's see if it works. Let's see if multiply, like say I want to find figure, find figure. Twenty five. Uh, you sold figure on twenty. That was supposed to be the R because absorbed by the Um let's say in the same pattern you want to find figure thirty two. Okay, so find figure 32 for me then, the fast way. Yeah, you can look at it. From 252 to 57. 252s. So how did you find 252? Zach? I did the same help. I found 73 plus uh, do that number times 8. And okay, so 32 two, times 8? Yeah, and it's 256, and then you subtract by 2. I mean, by 4. 32 times 8, minus 4, is 252? Yeah. Okay, what I'm interested in is, I found it interesting your reasoning for subtracting 4. Let's try this. Let's try the same approach on a number that we know for sure because we can just see it. Wait. Yeah. But like, okay, so like how we know is when you do the other figures, every time you subtract the other figures, you get the answer. The answer, I don't know how to explain it. Um, if you times something by eight, for one of the figures, you'll get a number, but in order to get the real answer, it's, it's subtracted by four, like. How do you know, know that that's the, how do you know the right answer is four less than eight times whatever the figure is? Because whenever you oh, times oh, it oh. by it, it's less than the number that you get by four. Can you give me like an example? Can you go back to the figure? Yes, thing? I can go back. Um, because when you go for figure, Five. Okay, which we are really confident has 36. 36. You do five times eight, which is not Okay, so we know it should come out to 40. be 36, which but five times eight is? 40. 40. 40. And it's, it's less than less four. So here's what I think is happening. I think we are, we see this, this obvious like eight, 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 which adding on eight a bunch of times is by definition multiplying by eight. Multiplying eight by something, uh, and then we get an answer we're really sure is right because it's like it's not that far away from what we already know. So if I just go up sixteen, no big deal. And then we try the five times eight thing. We notice that's forty. That's not right, but it is four away from the right answer. So I subtract four, and I think you like make up a reason for why you would subtract four. And most of you are saying because there's four in the first figure. There's four at the top though. No matter what, there's four at the top, and then you have, you know, the eight adding on to itself at the bottom, mm -hmm. the four on each side going down. And because you still have the four on the top, when you multiply mm -hmm. eight, then you just have an extra four that you don't need. Yep. Okay. okay. It plusing, whatever. Plusing? Plusing. 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 Then I multiplied, because you said what the figure that we already know, I did 3 by 8, which is 24, minus 4, which is 20. So you would have an extra, you would have an extra 4. Because like if you do 4 times 3, 
times 3 is 24. It's 24, right? which? Or that's not what I meant. If we subtract 4 from it, we get 20, which we know is our answer because we can yeah. count that there's 20 in there. Yeah, I meant for 4 times 3. Uh, 4, figure 4. We know figure 4 should have how many? 28, but you get 32, and then you subtract the 4, and that's 28. Okay, so you notice a pattern, you're like, well, every time I do this, multiplying by 8, which, okay, someone, let's see, to how many of you does it make sense that we would just multiply by 8? If there's some kind of multiplying by 8 that we would want to do to get to any figure down the line in the pattern. Does it make sense that, that there'd be some element of multiplying by 8? Some part of figuring out that that guy down there would be multiplying by eight. Question, Abby. Um, like, what is this called? Like, what are we doing with the back? Thank you. Discussing these problems. Discussing these problems together. Solutions. Jacqueline. I was just gonna say that. So we're like. confused about what exactly? Well, about this, or about subtracting four? I don't, I don't even know why you need I know five that. times eight. To be honest, I don't understand why that's but there. But your times you need five times eight. Well, it comes back to... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, no, no, no. Let's stop doing this. So, the reason why we multiply by eight, do you see why if I want to go from figure three to figure seven, I would want to add 32 to get from, add 20 plus 32 to get to 52? Yeah, I get why you have to. Um, okay, so explain that to me. Why add 32? Why you add 32? No, I was saying that I get why you do times by 8. I get that. I just don't okay. know why 5 is there. Oh, because someone, I think Emma was saying, you know, let me give you an example. She's trying to show me why I'm why we subtract 4. She's saying, we'll try to find figure 5. Right? We'll try figure 5. So she said, to find figure 5, multiply 5 by 8. Right? Because we go up 8 every time, and we're at figure 5. So it's like, go up by 8, 5 times, it seems like. Yeah. Right? Okay. So does that make more sense? Mm -hmm. So that's why. It was just like a random example that, that they don't take out. Um, okay. Let me just, just gonna give it away here. If I want to get all the way down to figure 73, and we're all concentrating on kind of starting at figure 1, which is good. We're, we're starting at figure 1. If we start at figure one, and we get it all, we want to go all the way down to 73, how many times do I have to go up by eight? Three times. I hear 73 and 72, which is it? 72, because figure one, if you're going from figure one, all you need to add is eight on the bottom, which you only have to do 72 times because you already have one. Okay, let's, let's, mute, let's back up a little bit. I want to go from figure one to figure two. How many times from figure one to figure two one. do I have to go up by eight? One. Once. Once, not twice. If I want to get to figure three, how many times do I have to go up by eight from twice. figure one? Twice. Or twice. To get to figure three. Yeah. Figure three, I only have to go up by eight twice. Oh, so it's 72 times. So if I want to go from figure one all the way to figure 73, how many times do I go up by eight? 72. 72 times. 72 times 8. Now, hold on a second. If I just do 72 times 8, what do I get? 576. 576. Is that, I mean, we've, we've kind of run this figure 73 into the ground, and we know that there should be how many? 580. 580. 576 is not 580. But if you add 4, But if you add 4, right? We add that 4. Whoa, well, these man. 4 that we started with. I got it now. Or you can do 73 times minus 4. Yeah, that works too. <laughs> there's yes. two ways to do this. Actually, there's like 50 ways. You could do it that way. Let's, let's let this problem, you know, for, for all of it that it's done for us and, and the confusion that maybe it's caused us, 
let's get a fresh start on a new one, okay? Let's see what we've learned, and if we can apply it to a new problem. Kate, I wanted to give Caden something. It's uh, Caden's remarks yesterday were really awesome, because Caden said something like, it's like a rate of change, and that's exactly what it is, right? Job, the rate that the squares change, notice there's, there's two variables here, like a y and an x. The squares go up by eight, and the number of the figure goes up by? One. What? That's a rate of change. And it's a constant rate of change, right? That's even more what you said. And do you remember what you said after that? You said if we were to draw a graph, draw a graph. Like when you say like one over and eight up, one over, eight up, one over, eight up, or infinity, infinity, infinity. Exactly, yes. So, so Kaden noticed this is a linear pattern, okay? In so many different ways he noticed this is a linear pattern because the squares change by eight and the figure number changes by one. That's true for any two figures. In fact, it's the ratio of that is the same for any figure. If I go up to this figure, well, how much do the squares go up by? 16. And plus the number of the figure goes up by? Two. Well, 16 over two is still eight, just like if I just went from one figure to the next one. <coughs> and if we were to graph it, like Caden said, we would just see the figure number goes over one, the number of squares goes up eight. If we were to plot all these dots, like one comma four, two comma twelve, three comma twenty, four comma twenty-eight, five comma thirty-six, so on and so on and so on, we would see those dots be in a straight line. Okay. There's other patterns that are not going to be straight lines, but this one is. Emma? So do you add four because you're missing four from the bottom? You add, oh, I like that you're trying to reason it. You add, so if, I, if we do 72 times 8 yeah. plus 4 to get to figure 73, so I'm just trying to like, figure out why are we adding 4. So we add 4 oh. because why, you're saying? Yeah. I'm just, to, I'm following you, but I want everybody to like, kind of be on the same page. So you're saying now, why do you think that it is we add this 4? Well, because we're like missing 4, because instead of doing 73, yeah, so just doing 72 times 8, that's saying, like the 72 is there are 72 jumps to get from 1 to 73. But if you just do the 72 times 8, it's like figure 1 had how many squares in it? Zero. Yeah, it'd be like kind of assuming that the first figure had 0, and then we just go up by 8 by 8 by 8. But we started with four. an extra 4. Yeah, so we have four from the first figure plus 72 jumps of eight to get to the 73rd figure. Does that make sense? Yeah. We'll start with four and we jump up 72 times every time we're jumping up by eight so we can get to 73 that way. Okay? Now, does doing 73 times eight minus four work? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, but... It doesn't make sense. Well, it's harder to reason. I think it's easier to, to see why we add four this way. The reason why we subtract four has to do with how many squares are in the first figure and uh, how, how much we go up by every time. Okay? It's just a coincidence that plus four and minus four work if you, if you do it two different ways. That's why. Will that work on any other problems? Or is it just Let's find out. Let's find out by, by uh, working together. But for one thing, I want to show you. So this pattern actually comes from a, a sculpture in Washington, D.C. Soul of the Wit, is the person's name, the four-sided pyramid. You see how we have figure one right there? Uh, here, four squares. And behind that, what did I say, five squares? I don't know if I said I probably said it wrong. Okay. Behind that is figure two, behind that is figure three, behind that is figure four, and so on. What does that mean? Well, I, I think why, it's gone. Why is it called the four-sided pyramid? There's four sides. Four sides. I know, but aren't pyramids always like four sides? Well, there's uh, well, no, there's three sided pyramids. So there's one, two, and then back there's three, and back there's, three, and back there's four. You could make a four or a, a three-sided pyramid if the bottom was a triangle. Uh, I told you. That's what we call a tetrahedron. Anyway, tetrahedron. Let's move on. Let's. Oh gosh, Alex. 
Let's work our, our experience, our magic, on these three figures, okay? So, first what I want you to do, let's just start off slow, figure out how to get to figure five. Figure out how many, like, circles. I'm not asking for a pattern, I'm not asking for you to give away the answer, I'm asking for you to individually, for yourselves, be confident in your answer for how many of these little circles, right, these are Legos, Remember when I count up the circles that we see on the top? How many circles would we count up in the fifth figure? Do it individually. Don't raise your hand because I'm not looking for any answers. If you have any questions, I'll answer questions. Okay. So. Got it. Question? What figure are we going to? Going to figure five. So we've got one, two, three, and we'll go, all, we'll go to five. In figure one, what did we say? How many do we have? Seven. Seven. How many in this one? Ten. How many in this one? Thirteen. Okay, do we notice a pattern? Yes. yes. A pattern, do we notice? It goes up by three. goes up by three. Everybody agree that it goes up by yeah. three? Yeah. Can you show us where the three are, Tiana? The three are, are um, tall, they're the edges, so like the, it's really hard to explain. Uh, five five yeah. Yeah. So you have the, the Ooh. Okay. I got the pattern, so that one's the wrong. to the next. <laughs> Carter, you know why you're sitting in the front. Yep. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so one gets added here and one to the diagonal here and one right here. We see those there, there, there. Here we get one on top, one to the diagonal, and one right here. Right? That makes Every figure three. Time. Every single time. It's, it would That's seem. Got it. I've got no evidence to, to prove that it's otherwise. It certainly seems to be that way. We only have three figures, so we can assume that pattern continues. Did you make these patterns? No, I, this is a Google image search. Do you, do you have math? Do you have Legos? Math, Lego problems? I don't think uh, my daughter has some Legos. <laughs> Legos. My brother. Has I have Legos. One, two, three more would give us figure four. Four. Figure four would give be how many? Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Nine. So, okay. adds on here and in the diagonal. And vertically, forever, we can assume, or I guess we will assume. Uh, so what do you say? How many are in figure five? Raise your hands. Uh, somebody I haven't heard from much today. Uh, let's see. Sarah, I haven't heard much from today. Wait, how many are in figure five? Yes, so not figure four, but figure five. 19. What does everybody say about 19? Yeah. 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 Okay, now let's see if we can apply what we've learned and find how many are in figure. No, let's go way out there. 112. Whoa! Figure 112. I got this. Calculator? Yeah, absolutely calculator. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to anticipate maybe two different answers here. So what, what do you guys have? 240. 340. 340. 340. 340. 340. 340. 340. Minus 7? Minus 1. No, 1. 336. Minus 1. I didn't put 7. That's 1. Oops, I didn't get it. And you got what? 335? I did. Yeah. You got 335 by doing 112 times 3 minus 1. Okay, somebody got 336. What did you do? 336. I messed that. I'm just going to say that. Avery, you got 336? Well, you could just do like 112 times 3. Uh huh. 
Or you could do like we did last time. Uh, okay. That's 112 times 3. That's Is 112 times 3 336? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 340. What did you uh, do? Okay. I did 111 times 347. Sounds right. Yeah, that's um, the other I'm also ready. I, I hit 112. 135 is not right. Plus 4. Plus four. Still yeah, it still works the same. Just, just a different you did what? Way. I did 112. Why did you three. add 4? Because, look, okay, what's 3 it's times 20. 1? 3. So how many are your favorite ones? 7. Get that 4. That's so awesome, man! Why 4? Uh, I, We're having some interesting coincidences. <laughs> and there, there is a, like there is sense to be made of adding four, but why? I got it. Uh, three minus seven is negative four, but four minus three or seven minus three is four. Yep. Is that relevant? Well, let's find out because here's what's gonna happen.